So Yellow Kit was playing with her siblings, Nut Kit and Ravonkit. They get bullied by Short Kit and Ragged Kit for their childish games they played. Later that day she wakes up at night with her stomach hurting, she nudges Nutkit asking if his stomach also hurts, he said yeah why, so they go to the medicine den and got herbs that helped walk the pain. A few moons later she was made into an apprentice. After the ceremony she saw that Silverflame was sick, she felt worried and stressed about it. Later that day she finds out Silverflame was dying and says her goodbyes for the last time. The next day when she was doing apprentice training with the other apprentices, her sister, Rowanpa was practicing battle moves, she was parried with Scorchpa. Scorchpa attacks and scratches her shoulder, as she faints dramatically, Yellowfang felt a pang feeling in her shoulder. They go to the medicine's den. Rowanberry got checked and Yellowfang turned out to be completely fine. Later that day Yellowfang was practicing some fighting moves by herself but Ragadpa shows up. He tells her that she needs another cat to do that move with, so he helps her then leaves by saying a bad excuse about needing to go hunt even thought he's not even a warrior yet. Yellowfang thinks to herself wow what a handsome cat he is, I guess he's not that bad after all. New Leaf was coming soon, she was on a patrol with Stonetooth, Raggedpaw, Deerleap, Brackenfoot, Crowtail, Rowanpaw and Nutpaw. They find a Wind Clan scent and pigeon feathers near the border. Crowtail leads them into Wind Clan territory and they run into a Wind Clan patrol led by Reedfeather. Yellowfang got attacked by a Big Tom. She tried to fight him but Raggedpaw interrupted and ran past Scorchpaw and Reedfeather and flung himself at the Tom. Raggedpaw drove off the Tom. They go back to camp and Raggedpaw gets turned into a warrior, now he's Raggedpelt. Yellowfang went to the coming gathering and felt bad for Raggedpelt not know in who his dad was so she goes out at night and wakes him to go looking for his father at the kitty pet territory. They find three kitty pets named Marmalade, Red and Pixie. They ask the kitty pets if they know a cat that dated a forest cat and so the kitty pets bring them to Ally Way and talk to this boss leader of the group of cats. Her name was Jay, they only get to ask one question, so they ask if they knew a cat that might know Featherstorm, as Yellowfang asks she noticed a cat flinch at the sound of her name but the rest of the cats didn't know. As they leave, the cat that flinched appeared and tells them that Hal might know the cat they're looking for so they follow her directions and found him. Turns out Hal was Raggedpelt's father but he abandoned him and now Raggedpelt is annoyed and Yellow Paw feels bad for him once again. The next day Yellow Paw goes to the Moonstones with Deerleap. Yellow Paw gets an uncomfortable dream about her upsetting future. The next day she gets turned into a warrior and now is Yellowfang. Sadaster leads a patrol to catch kitty pets that were on their territory and they find Red and Boulder there, they fight them out. When Yellowfang is back at camp Sagewhisker tells her she has to become a medicine cat. Yellowfang argues and runs away to her den and cries herself to sleep. Red and Boulder come back saying that they want to join the clan. Sadaster accepted and renamed Red to Russetpaw and let Boulder keep his name as Boulder. A moon later a battle came, the kitty pets and rouges came to take Red and Boulder back thinking they were kidnapped against their will. Ragged Pelt saw his dad and warned him to leave, he didn't so he killed him. Ragged Pelt goes back into battle as Russetpa came to see Yellowfang. As she got closer she saw her dead father lying there, what happened? She cried out. The battle ended with the rouges and kitty pets knowing Boulder and Red wanted to stay. After the battle has passed Yellowfang started hunting with Ragged Pelt for a while. She told him she was going to become a medicine cat, he freaked out and got offended, he said he wanted to be leader of Shadow Clan and she could be his DFT but Yellowfang refuses. Yellowfang gets turned into a medicine cat apprentices after that. The carrion place got infested by rats and Ragged Pelt gives the clan a plan to kill them off. Sage Whisker and Yellowfang come along to treat the wounds that'll come. They failed and go back to camp with injured cats. Ragged Pelt was made into deputy after that. Not long has passed after Yellowfang became a full medicine cat. She went to the Moonstones with Sagewhisker. Yellowfang and Ragged Pelt hung out secretly for a while until she got pregnant with his kits. When she tells him he was happy and exited to the news, it's annoyed at the fact that she can't be their mother since she is a medicine cat. Yellowfang tells Sagewhisker even thought she already knew. The next night she goes to hide out far enough from the camp so no one can find her. 
She gives birth to three kits, one dies at birth and the other dies a few minutes later. Only one surviving kit is left. She calls him Broken Kit for his tail being bent. She gives him to Lizard Stripe to nurture. She's angry about it but takes him in. Moons have passed when Yellowfang was going out to get some herbs and saw Broken Kit getting bullied by his siblings. She interferes and takes him away from them. She bonds with him until one day Broken Kit gets bullied for hanging out with Yellowfang and so he stopped visiting Yellowfang after that. When Broken Kit gets turned into an apprentice, Yellowfang gets an apprentice named Runningpaw. After a few moons have passed Sadaster gets sick and dies. Ragged Pelt goes straight to Moonstones with the company of Yellowfang. He makes Foxheart deputy. After a few moons went by Ragged Star turns Broken Paw into a warrior. The clan is shocked since he is only five moons old and didn't even finish his assignment but he gets made into a warrior anyways. A patrol came back injured by rat bites, they got attacked by rats not far from the carrion place. Broken Tail explains a way to get rid of them and they follow it, it turns out to work and they win but Foxheart dies by rats. Ragged Star makes Cloud Pelt the new deputy of Shadow Clan. Broken Tail gets an apprentice named Stumpy Paw. Yellowfang was with Night Pelt until Running Paw called her into the den to show her Stumpy Paw hanging from a branch by his teeth. Broken Tail made him do that as punishment for talking while training. Yellowfang asks Broken Tail there must be a better way for punishments but he turns around and snarls at Stumpy Paw to go back to the training area. Later that day Running Paw gets turned into a medicine cat and now is named Running Nose. Yellowfang had a moonstone dream about kits fighting in a great battle and dead bodies all over the battlefield. The next day Broken Tail claims that Wind Clan had been hunting in their territory and brings back a rabbit for proof. They go on patrol. Yellowfang tells Running Nose she's going out to get Comfrey but actually is going out to stop the patrol from fighting. She finds them but she couldn't stop them. They didn't listen to her. Cloud Pelt got hurt, she brings him back to her den, she tried to heal him but he dies. As expected Broken Tail was made into the new deputy. Moons went by and Ragged Star came back dead from a patrol, he got killed by a Wind Clan cat said Broken Tail. Broken Tail decides to do his father's ceremony and go to Moonstones the next day. After a few moons have passed, Broken Star makes young kits into apprentices and kicks the elders out of camp by saying that they are a waste of time and waste prey. Many moons have passed when Yellowfang got woken up by Brightflower, she said Mint Kit and Marigold Kit have went missing, Yellowfang tries to reassure her, and goes out looking for them. She follows the night patrol scent and got a smell of blood flaring into her nostrils, she started running and found them lying on the ground motionless, their bodies were still warm. She curled up around them and tried to warm them as she licked their fur. Broken Star appeared angrily, he brings her back to camp and calls out a clan meeting. He acuses Yellowfang of killing the kits. He convinced the clan and exiles her. She runs away. She passes four trees and is aware that she's now in ThunderClan territory. After a while had went by. She pushed her way into a clump of ferns and lay down beneath the arching green fronds. The End